Question number five from C4, June 2018 GCE. Um, here we have a sketch of a curve C. It's a funky little sketch there. Okay, this is the type of graph you get with parametric equations. Uh, you have x equals 1 plus t minus 5 sine t and y equals 2 minus 4 cosine t where t is between minus pi and pi. So straight away in your mind you're thinking, ah, radians, radians, radians. So don't, yeah, you see radians. See the pi there? You said you know that we're dealing with radians. So straight away say you calculate it in case you forget and change it to radian mode. Okay, which um, in this calculator, how do you do it? Uh, I think you do it like this. I'm used to the other calculator. Yes, degrees, radians, four. There, now it's in radian mode. Okay, so that's ready for in case we forget. Okay, now the point A lies on the curve C, as we can see over here. Given that the coordinates of A are K2, where K is greater than zero, obviously it's the X value, is the positive on the X value, where K is greater than zero, um, find the exact value of K, giving your answer in a fully simplified form. Okay, now, well, we know that the, the coordinates of K are when X equals K and when Y equals 2. All right, so what I can do is, because we've got this as a parametric equation where you have a third parameter, basically, you have X, Y, and you have T, I can use the y equals 2 in this equation here to find what t is okay um, at that point a okay when y equals t so when y equals 2 okay then I find what t is at that point and then I can use that value of t here to find what x is that's what I'm gonna basically do so I know at the point a y is equal to 2 so I can say 2 is equal to 2 minus 4 times cosine t. If I rearrange that, I'll get 4 cosine t is equal to 0. Okay, because you've got 2 minus 2. So cosine t is equal to 0. Now cosine t is equal to 0. So 2 t is equal to inverse cosine of 0. And that's at 90 degrees, which is pi over 2 radians. And t is between minus pi and pi so it's possible actually for it to be minus uh, pi over 2 or minus pi over 2 okay because uh, the cosine curve um, hits 0 at pi over 2 and at minus pi over 2 if you think, look at the cosine curve it goes like it goes like this okay so here's your minus pi and here's your plus pi and there's pi over 2 and here's minus pi over 2 Okay. The first value you get from your calculator when you press shift cosine of 0 will be uh, pi over 2, as you'll see from here. If I press shift cosine of 0, it's going to give me pi over 2. And the other value for cosine, um, there's two angles, is uh, the, the two angles between 0 and 360, actually. Uh, you do 360 minus that, so you do 2 pi minus that, so 2 pi minus the answer well that's outside of a range but it repeats every 360 degrees so I've got to go back 360 degrees so if I go back 2 pi so I do um, minus 2 pi whoops minus 2 pi okay it'll give you minus a half pi see so those are the two values in the range okay so basically there's another value of there's a value here, pi over 2. The other value for cosine, which gives me 0, is going to be 3 pi over 2. Those are the two main values. To find all the other values, well, this is outside of a range, but I can use it to find the value which is 360 behind this, okay, because it repeats every 360 degrees. Okay, so I can just, you know, repeat that. Basically, that's the same relative position to that 360 degrees before it. So 2 pi before that, 3 pi over 2 minus 2 pi gives you minus pi over 2. Okay, so those are the two values of t, okay, which satisfy that um, problem. So now we know at a, x is equal to k. At a, x is equal to k. Now, let's take the equation for x. It's 1 plus t minus 5 sine t. 
So x is equal to 1 plus t minus 5 sine t. So if t is minus pi over 2, then this will become negative. And you're going to have minus 5 times something positive, which will be positive, And we'll be okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe it'll be okay. Let's see. Basically, we're going to find uh, the value of k such that it's positive. Because there's going to be another place, maybe somewhere over here, where k is going to be, where, where the x value is going to be uh, negative. So we've got to try both values of t. That's the best thing to do. Let's try t equals pi over 2. Okay. When t equals pi over 2, x is going to be 1 plus pi over 2 minus 5 times sine of pi over 2. Now the sine of pi over 2 is 1. So you're going to have, that's going to be 1 plus pi over 2 minus 5, which is going to be minus 4, or pi over 2 minus 4, which I think is going to be negative, isn't it? Okay, because we're in radian mode here. Whoops, the wrong one. We're in radian mode here, so you're going to have pi over 2. So pi divided by 2 minus 4 gives us a negative value okay so that means k okay is going to be when t equals negative pi over 2 and we can see that that k we know for sure it's going to be it's going to be negative pi over 2 because it's, it's going to obviously give us the positive value of k so pi over 2 so it's going to be 1 you're going to have to put instead of t you're going to put minus pi over 2 and then you're going to have minus 5 times the sine of minus pi over 2. So you'll have 1 minus pi over 2. And this is going to give me plus 5 because this is, this is plus 1. Oh, this is minus 1. So minus 5 times minus 1 is plus 5. So you're going to have, um, that's going to be 6 minus pi over 2. They ask us to give the exact form. The exact value of k. Okay, so that's the exact value of k. So k is equal to 6 minus pi over 2. And you can confirm that that's positive. You have 6 minus pi over 2 gives you a positive value. So we know that that's definitely the value of k. It's a positive value, okay, which is um, when, where the, when y equals 2, you get two values of t. One is pi over 2, one is minus pi over 2 in, in that range. If you try positive pi over 2 inside the, the x, okay, it's going to give us a negative value for the x, which is not a somewhere else. And if you try um, negative pi over 2, it gives us the positive value of x, which is our a. So for sure, k is equal to 6 minus pi over 2. Okay, now for the next part of the question, find the equation of the tangent to c at the point a. Right, give your answers in the form y equals px plus q, where p and q are exact real values. So let's just get the equations across. Okay, so here we have the equations. Now we want to find the equation of the tangent to c at point a. And a was the point where x was, let me just get it here, x was 6 minus pi over 2, and y was 2. 6 minus pi over 2, 2. So this is 6 minus pi over 2 and 2. Okay, that's the point A. Okay, so to find the equation of a tangent, which is a straight line, we need two things. We need a point on the line, which we have the values of 6 minus pi over 2, and we need, um, second thing is we need the gradient of the line. Okay, the gradient of the tangent to the line. So the gradient of the tangent is the same as the gradient of the curve at the point A, because the tangent just brushes past the curve with the same gradient as it. Okay, so we need to find dy dx, but we don't have this in terms of y, and to make this in terms of y is going to be a lot of hassle. So what we can do is we can uh, do use the chain rule. So we can say that dy dx is equal to dy dt times dt dx. That will give us dy dx. So we got y equals 2 minus 4 times cosine t. And we've got to find what dy dt is. So dy dt is, well, the constant will go. When you differentiate cosine t, you get minus sine t. So you'll end up with 4 sine 
t because the differential of cosine t is negative sine t. Okay, and the negative and negative become positive. And we've got x equals 1 plus t minus 5 sine t. So dx dt, the 1 will disappear. Differentiate t with respect to, uh, to t is going to give you 1. And you're going to have minus, and differential of sine t is cosine t. So minus 5 cosine t. So therefore, our dy dx, dy dx will therefore be dy dt, which is 4 sine t, multiplied by the reciprocal of this, which is 1 over 1 minus 5 cosine t. So that gives you 4 sine t over 1 minus 5 cosine t. Okay, so that's dy dx. So at a, okay, t is equal to, and as we learned, t was when it was pi equals minus, uh, sorry, t was minus pi over 2. That's the one that gave us the value of k. So we know that at a, t is negative pi over 2. So therefore, the gradient at a is going to be 4 times sine, sorry, 4 times the sine of negative pi over 2 divided by 1 minus 5 times the cosine of negative pi over 2. Okay, so the sine of minus pi over 2, think about the sine curve, it's going to be, oops, it's going to be like this. It's going to be minus 1. So that's, the gradient's going to be minus 1 times 4, which is minus 4, over, and the cosine of a minus pi over 2 is going to be 0. So that's 5 times 0, which is 1. So the gradient is minus 4. And let's just check to see if that seems sensible. Um, the gradient is, yeah, it looks like it's a negative gradient. If you drew a tangent here, it's going to be quite steep, and it's going to look like it's in, in the negative direction. So it kind of looks kind of sensible in this context. Yeah, it's quite a steep gradient and it's in the negative. Okay, so we kind of got a feeling that we're on the right tracks. So we've got, therefore, the point A, okay, which was, the x value was uh, 6 minus pi over 2, which is the same as saying 12 minus pi over, 12 minus, if you make this of 12 minus pi all over 2, yeah. Let's write it as, as one fraction, maybe that's easy for us to do. 12 minus pi all over 2, that's the same as 6 minus pi over 2. And the y value was 2. Just make sure. The y value was 2, yes. And the gradient is minus 4. So we can say the equation of the tangent, which is what we have to find. It wasn't the normal, was it? Okay, we've got to give it in forms of y equals px plus q. So y equals mx plus c, where p and q are exact real values. Okay, so let's put this into our equation. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we got y minus y1, which is 2, equals m, which is minus 4, times x minus x1, which is uh, 12 minus pi all over 2. So we're going to make y the subject and expand that. So you have y minus 2 equals minus 4x, and this is going to be plus. Now the 4 and the 2 cancel, leaving you with the 2 on top. So 2 times 12 minus pi. Okay, so we can um, simplify that, I guess. So you have y minus 2 equals minus 4x, minus 4x, plus 24 minus 2 pi. That's a pi. Make that an x by mistake. And then you can add 2 to both sides to get it in the form y equals minus 4x, and that's going to be plus 26 minus 2 pi. So we've left everything in exact form. So it says y, it says where p and q are exact real values. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so there we have our answer y equals in the form y equals mx plus c. And we finished this question.